I was um, happy go lucky, just uh, just take life as it comes kind of thing. Never planned anything in my life. Just a normal 21 year old lad, really. I don't know, I thought myself, no, I'm getting on a bit now, I'm getting a bit older now. Um, and I need to really start trying to focus myself into something. The easiest way is either be an electrician or a plumber. And plumber's a really dirty job, I don't really fancy that, so um, I went to, I just wanted to be an electrician. I don't remember a day where someone said to me, Dan, look, you've done something to your back and you're not going to walk. Or you can't use your legs. The doctor bumped my dad into a, into a little room and said, look, I don't think he's going to make it. I think you should call your family up to come and say your last goodbyes. I was able to become an instructor thanks to a programme called Instructability at Aspire. The aim of the course was to become a, a qualified fitness instructor. My name's Vanessa Dalby, um, I'm 35 and I'm a student on the Instructability course which is based here at Aspire Training Centre in Stanford. Because he's carrying blood on the way the very first lesson I was scared witless. I really was, I wasn't too sure what to expect, like the intensity of it. Anatomy and physiology, I just thought it's an arm. I had no idea there were so many bits to the arm and there were layers and there were fibres that twitch fast and twitch slow and I'm just like, okay, then thank you. It's effectively, it's the same as our standard gym instructor course, the only difference being that the eligibility for coming on the course is that you, you as a student have got some sort of disability whether it's um, paralysis, whether it's brain injury, um, strokes, you know, we're all very different, but we've all got some common ground. The first selection day, I bottled it, and I didn't go, because I felt stupid, or I started thinking things to myself, like, why, why would an able-bodied person want to take instruction from someone sitting in a chair? Because of the challenges that disabled students face, <laughs> not only on this course but in their day-to-day -day life, I think they have to be more adaptive, they have to be more cunning. The net result is, down the line when they're qualified, I think they can come up with a greater range of exercises and more creative ideas than would be the case for people on a regular course. Okay. <laughs> and you bring your elbows up, okay. and then you lower it back down. You've got to be able to hit the ground running, which is what they teach you to do, you know. So what questions do you ask? Um, how is the person feeling? You're into work placement, get your qualified, gain experience and potentially become a permanent uh, fitness instructor. Push it out from your, from your, from your face. Nice and Three, push. One, two, three, excellent. You want people with disabilities, different abilities, in your gym. You want us visible. You want to see us. We want to see us. Set us in. I'm instructing a, my class um, for the second time, so it's still a little bit nervous. Whereas before, um, I was kind of training like a one-on-one -on -one basis, but um, now I've taken, taken over instructing this class, this chair-based exercise class. How do you feel about it? A bit nervous. I mean, I've done it once already, but yeah, it's, it's always going to be nerve-wracking until I get really into it. Drop your legs. <laughs> Have a breath. I've done it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've overcome my fear. I've, I've told someone 
how to use machines that I can't use and how to train a naval body person. Eventually, probably it'll take it a bit younger than two years, but it'd be nice to have my own gym. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind doing that, design, designing the gym in a way that it's it inclusive to everyone. I've never really felt sorry for myself. But you have your ups and down days just like anybody does. Let's just take a look at this. I can just realise that, yeah, it's, it's, it's not that hard. Like, I've come through a lot worse. It's not the end of the world. It's just literally taking that one step and trying something new. I just try and make the best of, of, of what I've got. If I can't change it, then I just rather enjoy what I've got and, and, and live, live happy.